Hi, I'm Jake and I'm part of the 21st cohort of the Data School. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a connected scatter plot. A connected scatter plot is an excellent way of analysing the relationship between two variables across a period of time and also has the bonus of looking quite cool and being a bit more unusual than a simple line chart. Let's jump into Tableau and get started. So in this data set, we have some historic Las Vegas tourism stats showing the visitor volume and gaming revenue for each year. Let's go to a new worksheet and start building. First, let's drag on the gaming revenue measure onto rows. We can then drag our second measure, visitor volume, onto columns. This produces a scatter plot populated by a single point. Next, we can drag our time field, year, onto detail. This populates your scatter plot with a point for each year of data available. To connect these dots, let's change our mark type to a line. This, however, does not give us our desired result. Tableau is currently reading the path left to right by default, so we need to show Tableau which path to follow. We can do this by dragging the year pill onto the path shelf. As you can see, we now have a simple connected scatter plot. However, we can take more steps to make this look even more effective. Let's start by duplicating one of our measures by holding down control, clicking, and dragging it next to the previous pill. Let's then click the drop down on the duplicated pill and make it a dual axis. We need to remember to synchronize the axis to ensure the marks are shown at the same precise point on the graph. We can do this by right clicking and selecting synchronize axis. Let's now select the second tab on the marks card and change the mark type to a circle. Now we have a circle for each point in our data connected by a line in the correct time sequence. We can now clean up the chart a little bit. Let's hide one of the axes by right clicking and unchecking show header. Let's hide the indicator by right clicking, hide indicator. And let's change the color of the circles to make them stand out a little bit more. Let's go to the second tab on the marks card. Let's select color. And let's change it to red. And there you have it, a connected scatter plot. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you now feel confident to make a connected scatter plot yourself. Please check the description in the video for links to any additional material you might find helpful. If you enjoyed this video, you'd love Alicia's video on how to build a dot strip plot. Click the link on the screen to watch it next. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more videos like these.